I went to the market to, to video how we are harassed in Yaba market and I got harassed. Keep watching. I'm Peggy Cow and this is Dera Kuala and we're here today in Yaba market Dejo Show Yaba to do a video. We want to show you guys what women go through when we come to the market. Like the, the harassment yes. and all of that. The, yes, because people keep talking about these things, but we, we don't really get to see the live footage of the whole thing that goes on. Whenever you want to come to the market, like we have a like we have a guard stuff because we know people are definitely going to touch us and all of that. So today we want to show you guys how bad it is. So we'll be showing you guys our outfit to show. Um, I'm actually wearing something short, and she's wearing trousers to show you guys that it's not about what you wear. As far as you're a woman and you have breasts and you have bones, even if you're flat, they will still follow you and harass you. So yes, this is what we're wearing. forget to subscribe to her channel subscribe to Peggy Carl's channel subscribe to my baby girl's channel she needs those subscribers please please and please <laughs> When we were done during the video, some guys stopped us on the way. If you notice the headband I was wearing, they now told me that the headband I was wearing is the headband of cultists. That it has the color of cultists and I was so scared, I was shocked. Like, how on earth is that headband the color of cultists? Like, how on earth is that possible? Anyway, I removed the headband. I asked my friend, should I remove the headband? She said, yes, remove it though, because we already telling us that we should go and meet their ogre standing there. They are ogre standing there, we should go and meet the man. Ha. I was so scared. I said, no, don't worry, let me remove it. I removed it from my head. They said, I still have to go and meet the man. I was so scared. I told my friend, please follow me, I'm scared. We went together. The man asked me, Am I a cult? He said, Say no. He said, Am I sure? I said, Yes. I don't have anything. See, I removed the headband. See, I don't even know what color. He now asked us where we lived. I thought he might live. The girl told him where she lived too. So it was obviously not around that area. So, um,. That's how we kept begging the guy. He now said he wanted to see our phone. Uh, well, the phone I used to video was not my own phone. It was Peggy's phone. So, Peggy gave them the phone. They started asking for her password and she was like, eh? She said, no, let her type the password. They said, no, that they wanted the password. They would type it themselves. She gave them the password. They opened her pictures, they checked the pictures, they did not see anything. They now asked, hope our picture is not here. We said no, the picture is not here because the picture wasn't there. Then, um, they still seized the phone, they retained the phone. I was scared, I thought they were going to run off with her phone because that's what some people do. So we thought the guy was going to run away with the phone. So as he was walking, he kept walking, we followed him. You understand? So in case he wants to run, we just ah. cause that that phone was ex. Her phone is expensive now. It's an iPhone. Like ah, 
me, I cannot. I don't have. I cannot start contributing. Like, like I. In fact, I would have felt really bad because it was my idea to do a collab video with a fellow YouTuber. So we later got to a point. It was like a closed and a small space. Although his other boys were there, but um, she had to pay them, give them five hundred. They gave her the phone back. Immediately she just left. Me, yeah, I wanted to leave too. Immediately she left. I just decided to go. They now called me back, and they wanted to check my phone. I already brought out my phone. I gave them the phone. Say, was well, ready to tell them the password. The boss. Their ogre now told them to leave me. So I suspect they are not cultists. Maybe they are just looking for who to rip off because they started saying we we'll buy cola not and then origin. So at the end of the day, they later collected 500 naira. So they were either looking for who to rip off or they were scared that their pictures would be caught on camera and they wanted to see if their pictures were on the phone so yes that was the encounter so this is a message to other people if so if you want to take pictures of anything going on in yaba market or any other market just be careful go with extra money in case all these people like Omonile and all of that, you know, those touts, in case they come to harass you or ask you for money, you know, that you just do as if you are the double. Then when they ask you, you just bring that money and give them. That's just what you should be, what you should do, and you be careful, try to do your things quick. So at the end of the day, I wasn't able to to video my own part of the harassment so yeah that's how it went hope you enjoyed today's vlog if you liked it please comment and you know just tell me what you feel about it ciao